Hello there guys, welcome to another part. So in this part we're gonna keep on finishing the radio. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our edge loop tool, we're gonna put them into one uh, relative space distance, we're gonna create one edge just over here, small tiny one. We're gonna select the loop and let's delete it. Let's right now just separate those two models. And right now, just go to show and view selected. Okay, so right now we have our, our front of the radio. We're gonna need to make it a bit, um, bit longer. Just select those. And right now, double clicking, it's gonna be fine. It need to be something like this. Let's go back a bit, make it a bit bigger. Yeah, it's somewhere here. Okay, so right now let's select this edge, this edge, move it back. Okay, that's that's gonna be fine. That's what we want. Yeah. So at this point, what we want to do, we want to select, uh, make one more edge somewhere here. Yeah. Select all those faces. Like select all and um, let's select from the side. Select all of those. Then I make duplicate face. Smooth. Mm. Okay, it's selected and move it. This one to the back. So we have those faces and let's make them flat. So let's delete this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, and let's delete all of the all of the actually I don't want to delete those. And let's delete them. Okay, let's have a look now on the edge loop. Okay, when I'm gonna make it, it doesn't really like it. Uh, so, let's delete those ones as well. And actually, let's delete those ones as well. We, we're just gonna keep this one. Okay, so right now, let's Go to multiple ones. Let's create. Um, we need ten for now. Actually, we need two. Uh, one, sorry. We need one. Now we need ten. And from this ten, we're gonna need one. Okay. Let's go now for faces. Let's select every second one. Let's extrude them and put them back. Okay. So for now, we don't want to have this one, don't want to have this one, this one can stay. Uh, those ones I don't want as well. Okay. 
Okay. So when this is ready, actually, see one more face. Don't want this one as well. When this is ready, just center the pivot. Let's stick them back over here. Okay. So with this, with this done, we can now reattach this one to the model. And okay, we don't need this face, this face, this face, this face, this, this. This is not necessary. And I will need. I this one. Actually, those can stay. So I need to change them. I need to scale the model a bit. Pull it up. And make sure they're gonna they're gonna match. Okay. So with this tool selected, let's let's go for sorry this one, and I'm gonna see which edge edges I have to add in where so I'm gonna go to another edge loop tool make sure it's the relative distance and I'm gonna place the edges on the point where I need so I need just those two just like that so let's go for the vertex now and just make sure if the position is right and let's snap those ones to the to the vertices which we need. And from the bottom, we need to make this line a bit lower, somewhere here. And just snap those over here. Those vertices, I'm just gonna pull them back in for now. And we need to be really careful what what we're gonna do here. Okay, this one going up, and all of those those need to go in something like this. Not too much. Actually, we're gonna move them back and leave them like this for now. This point, we're gonna have a bit, a, a bit of um, play to reattach this one to to the model because we're gonna need to add those edges, all of them over here. Just have a look. Okay. So we need to count how, how many vertex vertex points we're gonna need. Um, we're gonna need. That's gonna be three. Okay. So let me just fix this one, and let's come back to to this in the, the next uh, next lesson.